The only Beats logo on the, oops, on the actual case itself on the outside is just this tiny little word Beats right here. So what if I told you that a very popular headphones brand is now making plastic iPhone cases and on those cases, they're not even emphasizing very much the brand, right? That these are that brand's cases. Well, I'm not making it up, folks. This is actually the Beats by Dre, yes, like the popular headphones, iPhone case for the 16 Pro Max right here. And it barely even mentions that it's a Beats case on the actual case itself, which is just mind blowing to me because Beats is not a case company. And if you're not even getting the cool factor of showing people that you have a Beats case, what exactly are you getting from this case? But anyway, instead of continuing to ask, let's actually just figure that out and start getting this case out of the box. Here we go. So this case's box has the Beats logo up here, says it's for the iPhone 16 Pro Max over here, and also clearly has a picture of the case on the front, as well as side views of the case on the side, which I think is kind of creative there. And over here on the back, we've got an inside view of the case. And anyway, let's just start opening this up because I am really curious what a Beats case is like. So we can open that there and pull it out and voila, a Beats case. So we can just grab my 16 Pro Max right here and put it inside. But before we do that, we've got a tiny little Beats logo right there. I just wanted to point out. And then once we've got it in this case, which was nice and easy, you'll notice the only Beats logo on the, oops, on the actual case itself on the outside is just this tiny little word Beats right here. So that's what I'm saying. You'd think if you get a Beats case, you'd want people to know, but like, it's very low key. There should be a giant Beats logo here, I feel like, then people would actually realize. Um, also on this side of the case, we have the action button right here. So we can press that, works just fine. We've got the volume buttons right here. Let me unlock this so you guys can see. Nice and clicky right there. Over here on the side, we've got the side button. Over here, we've got the camera control button. So let's test that out. We can hold that down and open up the camera. And then let's see, can we use the sliding? Yes, we can just fine. And that feels pretty nice, actually. I like how natural that feels because I was kind of complaining when I unboxed the Apple Clear MagSafe case. Um, its camera control button, for some reason, had like a weird, like plasticky, like almost like a cheap plasticky feeling. But for some reason, even though these are both, I presume, plastic cases, this camera control button feels just fine. So good job on that right there, Beats. And then over here on the bottom of the case, we've got a big old cutout for the speaker grills as well as the USB C port. And on the back, we do have a raised lip around the rear camera array, so that's good there. And then also some indicators of where the magnets are for MagSafe. And I will note those are thinner than usually MagSafe uh, magnet indicators are. So that's an interesting design choice. And let's make sure that works just fine. Yes, it does. Okay, let's mute this again. So there we go. I will say though, folks, I do like the way this case feels in the hand. It is a bit slippery, but I like how minimalist and slim it is though. And I really like the way it looks. I think this black color I chose looks really great with the desert titanium I picked for my 16 Pro Max, that rose gold looking color, because black and rose gold, I feel like that's a good combo there. But I just, I've got to say it again, like there should be a big Beats logo. How is this? I know it's, it's a Beats case, but like how? How is this a Beats case? What makes this unique? I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong, folks. This is a fine case, but like, why does it exist? Someone's got to tell me. If anyone here uh, watching this video works at Beats or works at Apple's, Tell me in the comments why this case exists. But anyway, folks, with that, there's really not much more for me to say about this Beats case for the 16 Pro Max. Just a pretty standard case if you ask me. Um, if you do want it for yourselves, it will set you back about $50. So once again, pretty standard case price. Um, but definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this case. Would you ever rock a Beats by Dre case? Let me know. And if you are in the market for your very own case for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, definitely be sure to check out my playlist of all the different cases for this phone that I've unboxed. I'll have a link to that down in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel for more awesome technology videos just like this one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye.